All right, time to switch things up. Talk some alert day weather with Eric Dean. Well, what do you think of the snow, Ken? I'm not a fan, but I know <laughs> some people out there are, and more power to you. Well, you know, and we've referred to March as Mother Nature's wild card, and we, we'll talk about that coming up in just a couple seconds, because I want to give you an interesting stat in a second. But first, we got to get to this. We do have the radar scan up and running right now. As you can see, it is lit up like a Christmas tree at this hour. I will give you the grand tour. Take a look here over towards Rusk County, Chippewa County, Eau Claire County, you guys are seeing some snow. The farther south you go, the heavier the snow is over towards the Black River Falls area, La Crosse, Barroqua, towards the Baraboo area, across portions of Highway 14, even from Prairie to Sheen over towards Alamakee and Winnesheet County in Iowa getting in on that heavy snow band at this hour. So take a look here at the details as we go into the next several hours. That moderate snow is going to continue. The Dean's list for tonight says four to eight inches of snow is expected. Uh, some places more towards the four inch side over towards the Eau Claire area and even point south of Eau Claire uh, seeing more on the eight inch side. Now the system's going to clear out Friday by noon. So here's what you need to plan for tomorrow. Low visibility due to wind, slick roads and sidewalks, especially bridges and overpasses and delays in your morning commute. All right, so here's the advisory map. That winter storm warning is now in effect for the counties shaded in green. So if you draw a line from Wabasha to Jackson County and point south, you are under that winter storm warning. The areas shaded in this purple, Dunn, Pepin, Eau Claire, and Clark County. That's the winter weather advisory now in effect until Friday at 6 a.m. And if you look over towards Chippewa and Russ County, you're thinking, well, they're not under an advisory. Nothing's going to happen. No, that's not the case. They're, you guys are still going to see some snow. You're just not under an advisory, but still, please use extra caution tomorrow. Now, as we take a look at the next several hours, we're going to keep that precip chance in the forecast. It's really going to dwindle down as we go into your Friday morning. And then for the most part, Friday will be left with mostly cloudy skies and that trend will continue for Saturday morning. Hey, today we made it to 38, but look at the time. It was at 1153 this morning. And remember when I said March is usually Mother Nature's wild card? Here's the reason why. Two years ago today, we were at 69 degrees and now we're seeing snow. 32s are low and that was at 448. In Eau Claire, you were at 36. You were hovering right around that 33, 34 degree mark throughout the afternoon hours. 38 is where you should be for this time of year. But again, two years ago, you were at 67 degrees. So it just goes to show you March is definitely Mother Nature's wild card. We can see snow, we can see 70s, we can see severe weather, we can see it all. But right now we're seeing snow and you can see it pushing its way through the Cooley region. And as I said, we'll get a break as we go into your Friday. So we have that low pressure system that's pushing its way through, high pressures in control. And you're looking at this high pressure and you're gonna scratch your head and say, great, we're gonna clear up, right? For a little bit. There's a caveat to this forecast this weekend, but we got to get past this first. So let's time everything out hour by hour. Snow chances continue as we go into the evening and overnight hours. There's that finish line that's going to push its way through by 7 o'clock across the majority of the Cooley region. And then by noon, we're going to stay mostly cloudy. Then we have to worry about the weekend. Here we go. So another low pressure system is going to push its way through. And you see the title here, but wait, there's more. And that's another round of snow that will push its way through the Cooley region as we go into Saturday evening going into Sunday morning. So the snow chances are not out of the forecast just yet. But again, like this system, this is something that we have to keep an eye on as the weekend inches closer to the eight day. The confidence is getting pretty good that we're going to see some snow. It's just trying to get the fine tuned details with this system. So one thing that you need to have is that free news 8000 first warn weather app as we go throughout the weekend uh, to receive the latest information for your area. Now the next eight days, first of all, tonight we'll see temperatures going into the upper 20s. That snow is going to continue. We'll see the gusty wind out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The next eight days, we're going to stay in the 30s for the weekend. Sunday, daylight saving time begins. We're going to hover around freezing for Monday. Then, Ken. We go back into the mid 40s for Wednesday we and go. Thursday. <laughs> if you're not a big fan of the snow, I'd love to there, see it. There you go. There's some good news <laughs> for you. Eric, thanks so much. You bet.